Hello everyone, this is Seven, and today I'm going to show you the best 10 CDAT weeks for February 2015. January was a very productive month so far for Jailbreak community, which some great tweaks have been released, and for me as well as I have designed my website, where I showcase some of my works. This is it, and without further ado, let me introduce you to the first tweak. I'm sure by now you are familiar with the Apple Watch user interface, as Apple showcased it a few months ago. Well, if you're interested on getting the same UI on your iOS devices, then you should get Akama UI. Guys, actually this tweak that I'm going to show you right now is quite interesting. Alternate Controls offers a set of on-screen software buttons for iOS devices. You can use it as soon as you enable it. Right now, its activation method is set to swipe from bottom right corner of my screen. And the buttons are Home button, going back to the most recent used app and app switcher. You can easily configure its appearance in settings to make it more sleek and modern just like that. Another one is Anchor, which allows you to place your app icons anywhere on screen freely without any restrictions. They will not automatically scrunch together, this allowing you to have space between your icons. Simply just drag and drop icons into the positions you want them in. Sometimes you download an application, well, a large size application, and you would like to get notified as soon as it is completed. Well, App Naughty does just that. After an app completes its installation, you will receive a notification alerting you to it. Spotify is a great streaming service and I always pay for Spotify Premium. However, you can still listen to music if you don't have Premium, but there will be ads, music skip is limited, and you can always play in shuffle mode. But with B-Day Spotify, you can enjoy all Premium features for free. Look, I have the same account on both iPhone 6 Plus and iPhone 5 as you can see. On 6 Plus, I don't have any premium features, but I have that feature on my iPhone 5. Phone app would be complete if two new features were added. It happens many times, at least for me, in which I call a number by accidentally tapping it. The other one is to have an option to call someone anonymously. Well, this is exactly what call in hazard does. If you want to call someone, the phone app asks you if you want to make this call. Also, by swapping the call icon, another dial button appears which leads you to make a call with this pressed number. That was all guys for this month. Check out the description below for their names and price, hit the like button if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe. Also check out the last month episode as well. The background music is done by Alvrex. I want to take this opportunity to thank him as he led me to put his music on my videos. See you in the next video guys.